but it's focus uh, retail and we're going to be discussing and analyzing all aspects of the retail slowdown. Lalit Agarwal from Vmart Retail joins us on the show right now. We also have Milan Sarvate joining in right now. Uh, Lalit, if I could start the discussion with you, because the fourth quarter same store sales growth was soft for most retailers. Was it a one-off, you would say, because of the festive season falling in Q3? Or would you say that it was weak sentiment which was at play? What's your own assessment? Good morning. Uh, so festival seasons are normally in the uh, quarter three only, uh, never are they in quarter four. And uh, but yeah, uh, so so most of the post festival and even even during festival, we realized that there has been certain uh, small uh, slowdown, uh, which we felt that and then we have been repeating this that, that I, we felt that's coming in more from the self-employed people because uh, at least in our end uh, of retail spectrum where we deal with uh, consumers with small town. Uh, large amount of self-employed people are there who, who shop from us, and there we saw some some correction happening and then their spending pattern got down and then people didn't spend as openly and as as confidently as they used to because of their certainty of income earning in the in the future times also the elections and all we saw some some uh, spike coming up in the month of may and and also it's some part in june uh, but but i think overall overall the 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 uh, mentality or the the consumption pattern has not been very great Milind, how big a role does the gov a stable government, uh, you know, really play for the consumption landscape in India? Talk to us about that connect and really, you know, what more perhaps we can expect from that, you know, from the government in terms of really trying to kickstart things. Uh, good morning. Uh, actually, uh, the government plays a role in terms of providing some kind of a stable ambience for the buying behavior. Uh, I think uh, the cacophony of the elections which was upon us for almost 3-4 uh, months uh, ended in May and uh, as Lalit rightly pointed out after the elections there was indeed a bit of a spurt in consumption that's because people might have held back certain things uh, now that was in anticipation of a government which will be stable which will not uh, create surprises or which will uh, take the country along a, a stable path. Uh, I feel the task before the government is uh, difficult and complex. Uh, I think over the past few uh, months and maybe quarters and years, uh, consumption has shown a steady uh, fall. Uh, that is also because uh, our, uh, our, uh, our savings rate has kept on uh, falling. Uh, it, was, it used to be 25 percent, it is now down to 17 percent. Normally, uh, the consumption should create uh, new investments in the economy and that should give rise to employment and that employment should create a new income and there should be a virtuous uh, circle of growth. Somehow that has not happened. Primarily because uh, uh, this government kept on surprising the economy with uh, some one-time steps. Those were necessary, I must say. Some of them were certainly necessary, not so much about demonetization, but GST was certainly necessary. And formalization of the economy was also certainly necessary. Uh, however, that has uh, created many disruptions. And Lalit rightly pointed out, uh, out about uh, self-employed people. I would call that the informal sector in the economy. Uh, for VMART, probably that is very large because in the north, the informal sector is pretty large. And the informal sector, while it was getting formalized, subjected to GST, it had to manage the demonetization. I think its business rhythm has gone out of uh, toss completely. And therefore, while it struggles to get back to a rhythm which gives it the right return on investment, I think the economy has suffered, demand has suffered, income certainty has suffered and therefore buying behavior has uh, gone down. So it's less about a stable government but more about stable policies and less surprises for the, for the business people. I think if the government goes for a stimulus mode which creates new investments and through that new employment, I think we have a great chance of coming back on track and uh, realizing our potential of a very high single digit or even double digit growth as an economy. So Mr. Agarwal, you know, keeping in tandem with what was just uh, told to us by Milan, do you think that with consumer sentiment, the trend taking a momentary pause that a player like yourself is going to undertake some sort of a step before we see, uh, you know, an actual revival? How soon do you think we can see that revival actually kicking in? 
But I, I can give you one example. I mean, so uh, as I told, the May month was uh, was very good, as I saw, and there was this Muslim festival, Ramadan, and and Eid followed by that, and we we saw a huge spurt in the consumption, and we actually dro- drove from consumption by by bringing in some extra consumers and offering them a good scheme, and, and we we gave them some good scheme which which brought them in just to test whether the consumer actually want to buy or not, and we saw huge customers who who eat food. Huge footfall turning up. So I think you know, right now it's not that there is some any effect on the on the income of those consumers. I don't see that happen. It's all about that confidence, and it's all about that. As you rightly said, whether the, if, if the confidence will come up only from the stable government or it will come from the stable consistency earning abilities. So earning abilities is a subset of or, or stable government is a subset of earning abilities. What I'll say. And that is what has to happen. And we saw that 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 revival happening in this month. And then I think it should follow in the in the in the coming month as if monsoon is 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 uh, also on track because large part of our population depends highly depends upon the agri agri income, which is largely dependent on monsoon. So that should also be one of the piece which is which will drive this whole thing. Okay. Um, Milind, you know, just on the point that you were making that. Uh, there's not a big role that a stable government can actually make but what steps do you think a stable government such as ours can take i mean you briefly highlighted a stimulus as well do you think it could come in as soon as perhaps the budget itself because the gst council was you know anticipated to talk about something with regards to the auto sector and maybe some stimulus or some slabs getting reduced that didn't quite happen what are the government uh, or rather what can the government at its end then do to try and kickstart uh, the consumption cycle? Uh, I think the government can do a lot and the union budget uh, due in the next uh, uh, couple of weeks. I think it's a great opportunity and more than an opportunity, it's a necessity. And probably the GST council decided to let the budget take the decision rather than take some premature decision. I feel the budget can uh, provide a huge signal and a trigger. I, I feel that somewhere the, the government needs to recapture the confidence of the business sector that this is a government which while it formalizes and while it streamlines various things, it is also a business friendly uh, government. Uh, I, I think the informal sector, which is really the backbone of the Indian consumption story, uh, needs to be protected in some way. And towards that, uh, informal employment uh, needs to be triggered, and that can come only through entrepreneurship. I feel while we talk a lot about uh, ease of doing business, at the ground level, there are several difficulties. And now I, I work closely with entrepreneurs, and in some way, I am an entrepreneur myself. I find that. At the practical level, there are several difficulties. If you walk around the markets, you will realize that smaller business people, not the Vmart kind large retailers, but smaller retailers have had difficulties and they have cut down on their staff and they are trying to economize. And as they do that, automatically there is a ripple effect in the economy. So basically, the government needs to look at employment generating investment and employment generating uh, opportunities of growth rather than have a jobless growth uh, target because the numbers of GDP don't matter much if at the ground level you don't have a demand push. And as a large consumption potential story, we will be foregoing that opportunity if we don't cash in on it at this point in time. The second point which the government should keep in mind is that the global uh, winds are not really uh, tailwinds, they are headwinds because there is lot too much of uncertainty because of trade wars. And uh, for India to continue running a high growth story, it is very critical that the consumption story is protected. And towards that, I feel triggering investment, giving fiscal incentives, making life easier for business people, I think these are the steps which the government needs to focus on. And it should do it in this budget. I don't think there is any waiting period involved because if you look at the FMCG sector, for example, uh, HUL, which used to run a double-digit uh, volume growth for the past five consecutive quarters, first time fell below 10%. And I, I think it is a bellwether of some kinds. There may be some odd uh, positive stories like uh, Titan has done well, but otherwise the sector has not done that well. And typically the FMCG sector, when it starts uh, decelerating, I think the slowdown is clearly upon us. On the back of that, 
we've also been talking a lot about uh, you know agri stress the rural slowdown monsoons may not help uh, the case at all uh, from what we're seeing so far so you know given that uh, we have all these factors still at play we've already started to see the impact on that consumption slowdown do you expect things to get worse uh possibly they could because monsoon is the real joker in the pack we really don't know how monsoon will shape up uh, i mean we keep hearing that indian economy is now fairly resilient to monsoons but at the buying behavior level or at the mindset level i think monsoon is very deeply rooted in our psyche and a bad monsoon almost always spells a bad market so monsoon is one factor which obviously is not in the control of the government but other than that uh, i feel in terms of simply a very visible sign that yes there is we recognize that there is a slowdown and therefore we are going to take several steps that uh, that kind of will comfort the economy sometimes this government tends to dwell too much upon uh, numbers which are published rather than reality which is on the ground and i feel uh, having one uh, a great election uh, with a great level of grassroots support i think that realization must have dawned upon uh, mr modi and his team and i'm sure they will have to do something soon enough also uh, look at it as, as a five year tenure for the government if there are structural major steps to be taken they should rather be taken in the first couple of years because we have seen successively that in the year 3 4 and 5 the government tends to get far more populist and election focused rather than economy focused just a quick word from you then mr agarwal liquidity has that been a big cause of concern and do you think that the government needs to address this in a big way uh yes i think this is a big cause of concern and and this has been also affecting consumption because once again those people as as he sold, said in form of economy and these these people who who drive the real india uh, they are really feeling that whole pinch and bunt front of this uh liquidity crunch uh, led by the financial institutions and and that is that is creating a uh, lesser confidence in the in, in in those people to invest in their business to to take those risks and those punts in, in trying to drive those manufacturing element so i think unless and until these contractors manufacturers the small traders they they take those extra bet and and they are they have higher liquidity uh, it will not be possible for the economy to really come up so so that has to be that has to be public Agarwal as well as Milan many thanks for taking time out and joining in giving us a flavor of how things are shaping up for the retail sector what is the need of the hour as well as the overall situation going forward